Hey everyone! So in this video we're going to take a look at the various features of Tidal Ecology. Notice the buttons on the bottom of the screen. On the left and right sides are buttons we've never hit before. The Biodex and the Data Tool. Let's tap the Biodex first. This in-game encyclopedia allows you to research and read about every single species in the game. Not sure if the Mule Deer is a good fit for your biodome? Maybe give the Biodex a look and see if it's right for you. Learn about its natural predators and eating habits. The ratings at the bottom actually tell you how the species will function in the game. For example, the jackrabbit's reproduction rate is really high, so you're bound to see a lot of them per territory in your game. You can also learn about how the jackrabbits function in real life, and look up terms you may not be familiar with in the glossary, such as detritus from earlier. Now, let's head back to our biodome and have a look at our data tool, the rightmost button. This feature lets you look at your biodome from a higher angle, kind of like the strategic mode. However, unlike strategic mode, the data tool actually gives you information on how every single one of your species is doing in your world, as well as what zones you do or do not have unlocked. It allows you to react appropriately should you find one animal is suffering due to the inclusion of another. You can also take a look at what achievements are available, or which ones you have completed. Remember, each achievement is worth some impact points and title coins. It's up to you to decide which ones you want to complete. Let's talk about what additional features Tidal Ecology has. For one, you get a weekly income based on the overall diversity of your biodome. After every in-game week, you're given a certain amount of Tidal Coins to spend however you like. The more diverse your biodome, the more coins you get. Time is also a very important aspect of Tidal Ecology. We give you the ability to pause the game, should you want to review certain factors in your biodome more closely. Or, you could even fast forward the in-game clock, if you just want to get your territories to grow a little quicker. Be careful though, go too fast and it can become very difficult to maintain your ecosystem. You can also leave and come back to your game of Tidal Ecology at any time. Normally this isn't super important, but in our game, time passes even while you're away. For example, if you're away for the game for about 35 minutes, you'll notice that an in-game week has passed. That about does it for the main features of Tidal Ecology. Check out our next video where we tell you about how you can contact us and troubleshoot your game.